absolute fucking geniuses at Rare decided, let's put the arcade version of Killer Instinct on Rare Replay. Oh, they did? And as you could imagine, the uh, arcade version is smoother and just so much faster, has louder, more like uncompressed music. It's just, it's a great experience. If, if you want to, like, cool ass fighting game to play, you should pop that in and play it. It's really good. Wait, what'd you say it was? It was a good fighting game. I, if you want a good fighting game, I even suggest popping it in. Like Killer yeah, Instinct? Yeah, like a fighting fighting game, not like Smash, more so like physical fighting. Uh, I don't know. I, I know I used to play some fighting games when I was a kid, but I, I'm not really a fan of them no, anymore. No, I'm, I'm not too into fighting games anymore. I played, uh... I didn't play Eleven yet, but I played Mortal Kombat X, and I played the... Uh, Mortal Kombat, it was just called Mortal Kombat, it was like the ninth one for PS3. I played the new Soul Calibers, and they just don't catch my eye. I tried... I think I tried a more recent Never Alive. I didn't like it very much. No, no, I'm just not, like, a huge fighting game fan. Dragon Ball Fighter Z was good from what I played. I, I wish I could be a fan, but I'm just not interested anymore. I'm not really interested in, like, Dragon Ball, really. I'm not either. Scott's been playing one of them on his PS4. I don't know. I, I should be a fan of Dragon Ball because I grew up with it, but I'm just... Eh. No, Dragon Ball Z, I want to say. Dragon Ball is pretty cool. God, I keep losing where I am. The uh, original Dragon Ball is a really weird, kind of different game. The original Dragon Ball manga was like, completely different, too. No, yeah. the anime. Yeah, the anime. Did I say game? Yeah. Oh. Oops. Yeah, Dragon... I can't talk right now. I'm, it, I'm like, out of it. Yeah. I got the manga from the library recently, that's why I'm talking about Dragon Ball. How is it? It's great. It's it's a little inspiring to read because I mean Akira Toriyama's art is just fucking nice. Oh yeah, like his all all his Dragon Quest art too. Yeah. Um wait no, go back, go press B. Oh no, I need to do something. Oh. I needed to do it. I had to do it to him. You had to do it to him, huh? Like I had to do it to him, man! What are you gonna do with this stupid car? Things. You gonna do car things? Yeah. Oh. Beautiful car things. That's good. That's very good. Just move on to the pet. You, 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 you are on the pad! I don't get what he's trying to tell me. He's just trying Space to tell zone. you if you step on the pad, it'll do the... Step step on the pad or go to my pad? Step on the <laughs> pad! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is no. what I was are you to gonna do. have to play a stupid minigame? Yeah. Oh no. Alright, it's now... Oh, can I go in here? Is this thing? I mean, I think you gotta. I I'm like that space alone. background. Yeah. Imagine if you, you could, could do jump a little. Out. You could do a little scene like, I'm just a car in space. I'm just a truck lost in space. Oh, okay. I'm Never mind. Just a wow. This is all I came here for. Are they gonna expect you to come back each time to activate each door? <laughs> No, I don't think so. You have to go to Mumbo. No, 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 I just said- I just fucked you up. You gotta go to Wumbo. I'm still used to Mumbo doing that. Yeah, what the- why can't you play as Humble Wumbo with a cool wand? They don't want to animate her having jiggle physics, probably. They could have made her look how she does in Nuts and Bolts, where she's a tiny brown woman. <laughs> she's got a long face. She looks like Celine Dion in here. Yeah, she got a long face. I love this music. I remember in uh, beta screenshots, Humba Wumba had no face. Oh, she didn't? No, she had no mouth. Ew. 
All right, I'll talk to the little kid over here, and then I'll. I think you have to learn to... a move first before you can take him. I gotta have his Banjo's backpack grabbed, don't I? Yeah. Though I don't remember I... where you learned that. I don't either. Oh. I don't know how to remember. I God. thought you learned it in Cloud Cuckoo Land, but I don't remember. Does he really no, need that's that? So... Does he really need that burger? No. I mean, I ask myself that question a lot. I should be asking myself that more. Do you really need that burger, Frankie? Do you really, Do you really need, need that need pizza? Do you really need that mocha frappuccino, Brian? Is what I need to say. Do you really need that bump of coke, Brian? Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> you need it to record with me. Yeah, without it, I'd probably pass out. Without it, you'd probably get sick of my shit real quick. I like that, that you told me that. <laughs> wait, wait, oh yeah, Banjo has a stand on that. Yeah, and I gotta be Kazooie and jump There's up here. There's a cat climbing on my chest. She jumped on my bed. And now she's on my chest. <laughs> she's so heavy and she jumps up, it hurts. <laughs> oh my god. Heavy cat. I do not envy you. Oh, Brian, oh you're about to die. Oh, Brian, Brian, Brian. You gotta jump over him, Brian. I tried. You saw me try. You gotta jump over it, Brian. Didn't you see me try? Yeah, but you didn't try hard enough. Okay, so... Google says you get the taxi pack in Pterodactyl Land. So okay. You can forget about saving that fat whom you've just given a cheeseburger to. Okay, I'm trying to work on this timing. That scares Ooh. me every time. Oh, man. Oh, boy. You made it, you made it. That's not too bad. That wasn't too bad. Can you jump to the bottom? Do I die? I mean, maybe. Do, do I take fall damage as kazoodles? What does it matter? You have infinite lives. Good point. Ow! <laughs> Holy shit! You see the way she rolled? Poor Kazooie. I don't like seeing Kazooie get hurt. I don't either. She's too cute. Can't can't let that happen again. You hear that thing shatter? <laughs> yeah, all the way from up there. I wonder how loud it is up close. Up yeah, close. Was... I can't even talk. I, I was trying to think of where I'm going now, but I just remembered. Where are you going, Brian? What? Why is he telling me this? I don't know. He just thinks he should know how to do it. I know how to do it. Fucking bottle oh. boy. Bottles. He's dead. Oh god. Do I have to go up here? I had to go all the way up. Wow. Oh my god. From here to the stars, with my candy bars, is a bear with a neck for platforming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do I do this? With a super powered bird. And a pocket full of turds. Oh, no! Brian! Holy shit, that killed me. You failed him. I start all the way over here? Oh. That's rough. That's real rough, Brian. Yes, it is. It's real rough, Brian. Brian, that's real rough. It's really tough and rough. Tough and rough and too much stuff. So this game is too much stuff, Brian. Not right. Ah, oh, Brian. There I was worried go. I was gonna. I was worried for a moment. 
There you go. You know what just totally ruined 2019's E3 what? for me? What? No Mega Man Legends 3 announcement. As if we were gonna get that ever. Okay, Cap how do I do this? Talon Trot, jump on top of it. Capcom has been real cool these last few years. Can't they just fucking give us Mega Man Legends 3? Apparently not. They've been pumping out Resident Evil left and fucking right because apparently that's in demand. Didn't seem in demand to me. Can't remember the last time I played a fucking Resident Evil. I was like, yeah, man, that was the best horror game ever. Best yeah. game in the horror genre. Wow. Well. I'm pretty sure that goes to, like, Silent Hill 2 or something. It probably does. Fatal Frame. Uh, clock Tower 3. What about the first Clock Tower? Well, a 3D game could be a lot scarier than a 2D game. That's true, but I got a pretty scary ending when I played Clock Tower. I remember I actually got... The first time I played Fight Nights at Freddy's, I'm not kidding, it genuinely freaked me out a bit. It unsettled okay, me the first time playing it. It's, I know a lot of people would make fun of that, because it's not a true horror game. But it definitely gave me some jumps the first time I played it. Yeah. Remember I edited that into my, uh, thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's not gonna get annoying or anything. I don't know. <laughs> I love these dopey looking aliens. Bumper cars. How many did she say I had to get? I don't know, but you're killing it, dude. Man, you are blue balling this poor little dude. Ain't that the point? Yeah. You're doing good. You're th this poor dude, look at him. Get <laughs> He's like getting a single one, Brian. You are just He's got... unstoppable. You beat in games with 89 points. You son of a bitch, look at that. That was, you made quick work of that one. Oh good, you don't have to come back as the car, you can just go right in. I didn't think I would have to. I guess by this what? point, they knew. Oh it... man, their faces. It's a 2v1. Oh my god, he looks like a He looks like a stereotype. You look like a stereotype. I know I am. Whack the bear, Brian. Would you? Do I really need to at this point? I mean, he's gonna get smashed pretty soon. Fuck yes! You wanna smash the bear, Brian? Well, I'm gonna end up doing that anyway. You wanna smash the, uh, little aliens and cars? No. What would you do if the little aliens and the bumper cars got announced for Smash instead? I don't know. I would be upset. I just like, never realized, these are the Christmas lights from Banjo-Kazooie, like the first game. Yeah, they're Twinklies. And those are the aliens that were, like, trying to eat them? Yeah, like, at the end of the thing. Still won. I can't believe they remember that little detail. I, that's one thing I never realized. You learn something new every day, Frankie. <gasps> wow. Watch me fail this one. I love Banjo Kazooie. I love Banjo Kazooie. That's my favorite game. You're in for a real Raymond this time, Bear. You're in for a now, Morty. Did you watch that video that he posted? Or that I just reposted? Oh, I watched some of it. I, I love, uh... I love that Justin Roiland had his first true reaction fully watching the Unpickle Me video. Oh my god, this is hard. <laughs> he was like, I never sat through the whole thing. If oh, I was Brian, him, I wouldn't either. You are getting fucking beat by these boys. They're relentless. It's not your fault. It's the AI. Whoa! Oh, oh come it on! Gave you such an easy run until this point. No moisty. 
Ooh, stinky. I think I I beat it anyway. Stinky I'm not concerned. Ooh. There I got, got the it. points. Yeah. I suppose he'll be wanting some sort of prize. That's right. Hand it over, you bony cunt. <laughs> man, I remember Kazooie swearing so much, man. It feels it's just so weird and out of character. That's done. Yeah, it does. I so can't odd. believe we're almost done with Witchy World so far.